Hi guys, this is uh, Cult Classics vs. Comedians. 31 Screams. Uh, I'm Robbie Brooks, and today I'm going to talk about the 1986 cult classic, Night of the Creeps. It's uh, directed by Fred Decker of House and Monster Squad fame. So what happens is aliens create these slug-like creatures that can resurrect the dead. Not Slither. They fall to Earth. Not Slither. They enter the victim's mouth. Not Slither. And the victims become zombies. Not Slither. Here's an example. Imagine the candy bar is a slug. The... That wasn't weird or anything. I find that there's some romance to an old-fashioned tale of an axe murder, and uh, this film has it. Uh, something happens to this guy in the 50s, some illegal justice, and then he gets resurrected in the uh, present day of the film, you know, the 80s. And um, it's a lot of fun. It's one of my favorite parts of the whole film, and it's very welcome in, a, in a, what I guess someone would call it a zombie film. It stars Tom Atkins in one of his best roles, and uh, not only does he have great hair, but he also has great lines, like the classic Thrill Me and the movie's tagline, the good news is your dates are here. The bad news is they're dead. There, uh, there are a lot of supporting characters. There's the crippled best friend because, you know, every horror movie needs a young kid that can't defend himself. There's the uh, love interest who, uh, it's a rare thing in a horror movie, but she uh, bears her breasts. Very rare for a, uh, lead act, a lead character, lead actress to bear her breasts in a, in a horror film. There's the uh, usual douchey college kid that, uh, this one's played by the uh, doofus from Mama's Family, and he plays uh, quite, the, uh, quite the jerk. So if you like aliens, alien on alien violence, zombies, axe murderers, college humor, the geek getting the girl, boobies, all kinds of fun like that, then uh, check out Night of the Creeps. Thrill me.